Leaders in the Fragile X field from India, Chile, and the United States reflect upon the progress that has been made and visualize what they see happening in the next 10 years for people living with Fragile X syndrome. My own work has focused on understanding how Fragile X affects the amygdala, the emotional hub of the brain. Our initial work involved collaborations with MIT and then grew into a much larger international partnership with Professor Peter Kind and colleagues at Edinburgh. Our research in India has grown into exciting new directions. It has gone beyond the traditional focus on animal models to include human neural stem cell based assets. This is giving us exciting new insights into potentially novel therapeutic strategies. Over the last 10 years since I received my first Fraxagram, there has been an amazing progress in the field of fragile X syndrome. However, there is still a pressing need for those gains to be translated into an um, effective intervention uh, for individuals with fragile X syndrome. In these 10 years, uh, Fraxa DBI has been working with colleagues, academics, and the pharma industry. And I hope that in the next 10 years, all that effort and work we have all done um, translates into an effective treatment for those with Fragile X syndrome. In 10 years, I visualize a world for Fragile X where Fragile X is a well-known condition and there are experts available locally that patients can access to treat the condition, where we have a number of approved treatments that work on the underlying disorder and improve core features of behavior and cognitive function and where we can potentially combine treatments to improve function and where we're continuing to build um, one treatment upon another to achieve better functioning in people with Fragile X, such that Fragile X is a treatable disorder. And perhaps we have gene therapy that we can use at younger and younger ages to um, result in an outcome that's more and more close to normal, where patients with Fragile X can really participate in society and that we have programs for adults with Fragile X so that they can really be contributing members of society um, and quality of life for all can be better than it is today. This excerpt came from the Fragile X Syndrome in Pursuit of a Cure webinar that took place on World Fragile X Day 2021. It was hosted by Wuxi Aptek in partnership with Fraxa Research Foundation. Follow the link above or in the description below to view it in its entirety.